You're gonna what? Yeah. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Ow! Where did we get this? Um, Serena's mother made us all the same matching hats for Christmas <laughs> this one's last like year. Extremely low. That one would be for you. All right, you just sit there. I'm gonna talk about this. All right. No, you don't. No. Don't. No. <laughs> Um, no, there was, uh, we want to talk about, um, if you're on the same team with your, with your spouse and this was very interesting. What prompted this, this last week is, is a couple of people posted an article on Facebook about how, uh, parents, if they put their kids first in their marriage, then they grow up to be entitled kids. It was a little extreme. I think, um, there was some things, I mean, he just bluntly said some stuff and it was just out there and I didn't even read the article. <laughs> Have you come into this prepared at all? I didn't even take a shower. I haven't earned my shower today. I haven't worked out. So, she smells. I smell because you haven't taken a shower? <laughs> He's a weirdo. Okay, anyway. So, no. We're going to talk about putting your spouse before uh, your kids. And that's, that's controversial. And a lot of people don't agree with it. But a lot of people do. And I think that they have healthy uh, marriages because of it. I'm not saying that the marriage isn't healthy if you don't. But I think we need to clarify some things. He's more blunt than I am. But yes. I think we need to clarify some things. When you're putting your children before your spouse, we are not talking about if the two of you were drowning, your spouse, your wife and your kid, your husband and your kid, you would, and you had to save one, you would save your child. No, absolutely. Think of that movie, I think it's Air Force One. I'll never forget where, I think it was Harrison Ford, he's looking at his wife, it was between the two, you know, her or the the child and they knew no it's the child i mean save the child all the time hands down yes that is what we're saying in those scenarios does that happen every day for people good lord i hope no. not <laughs> that would be an awful way to live all right today kids this is your last chance to gather you <laughs> that's horrible no that's not what we're talking about at all and we're obviously not talking about um not caring about your kids or not listening to them or valuing, valuing them as human beings. They are valuable people in this on this planet, just as valuable as we are. What? And yes. They are expensive people. Yeah, well, that's, they're very valuable too because they're expensive. But, but that's not what we're talking about either. And we're not talking about not listening to our kids or completely ignoring let them raise themselves. That is so not, you're kind of moving further and further away. I don't, Do I really smell? No. <laughs> What's the deal? Anyway, that's not what we're talking about at all. What we are talking about is are you on the same team? Because this team, once it comes together, it's going to be your team until one of you dies. Your children join your life. Stop it. <laughs> I'm watching you. Good thing I have that life insurance. Your you, know. <laughs> you are. You are just going to be the comedy relief through this whole thing, aren't you? I am. Your kids join your life. My parents have always said that. We don't join their life. It's not like, hey, all of a sudden we have a kid. Now everything revolves around this kid. What they want to do, what they want to eat, how they want to, you know, function in society and where they want to go. And no, 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 no. They have joined our life. We will raise them up to be responsible human beings in society. Pray that we train them in the way that they go and send them out to the world. And this is still here. My children, I pray, are not still here at 30 years old and I, because I hopefully have raised them to be responsible children in society and gone on to do have their own family. And when they marry, that relationship needs to be their primary relationship, not me. It doesn't need to be me or the mother-in-law or father-in-law. Their relationship needs to be the primary. And I'm more concerned with his opinion on something than my kid's opinion on something. And this goes back to also things like keeping secrets. I found this very interesting. I read this a long time or heard it somewhere. If you're, you've stopped being funny. What? You were talking. I was being polite. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, are you keeping secrets from your spouse with your kid? Have your kid, has your kid ever said, don't tell this to dad or don't tell mom this. I won't, t I won't tell your father about this. Or, that kid just realized that, mm, I've got this parent wrapped around my finger. I can do whatever I want. And they're not on the same team when it comes to this. But there is that cool thing as a dad and well, as, as a mom where surprises. You, you know, take him to go get a blizzard That's and tell mom. That's really well, not that Well, I don't know about that. Why? Because you would tell me that later. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's not a secret it's a, that you're keeping. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? We, we shouldn't have blizzards for dinner. Don't tell mom. That kind of thing. Not, but you would tell me and I'd be like, hey, really you matter. got the But, kids. you know, That's, stuff like that yeah. where you're, it's more of a bonding kind of thing rather than I got something over on mom. And so... Right. 
Right. What she mentioned is that we're supposed to train your children up as the way that they should go. The the key operative word of that is that they should go. <laughs> they they don't should go. stay. <laughs> they should go. Yeah. And the same the same thing in in the Bible about um, leaving your parents and cleaving to your wife. It's the same exact thing is that you need to get out of your house, go find a job, go get a wife and start your own family and your parents are still there. It's yeah. not, I need to go get a job, move back in when I'm 30, have a baby out of wedlock and then try and figure it out and leave. It's, it's biblically, it's pretty much, hey, leave, become a man, find a woman, marry her and start your own family. And it, it progresses that way so that... The child isn't paramount. The child isn't the idol in the marriage. The, yeah. the child isn't, you know, whatever the child does and is whatever the child gets. And the heck with your spouse because the child needs to be happy. That's not the way that it, it biblically should be. The thing is that we're supposed to train and they're supposed to go. Because how, how does that make him feel if I'm putting the kids before him? And now I've raised a son that's going to grow up and realize... Well, obviously that my wife's just going to put my kids first. What am I? Or vice versa, that the husband puts the kid first above the, the kid. And yes, things are important with your kid. We're not talking about that. Listening to your kid, valuing your kid. Xander loves it when we go on a date. Great, see ya! I don't know if it's just that he loves us going out or he gets to be home alone. But he loves it and he wants us to go out on dates. He, he totally thrives on that. He loves us being together. Um, Caleb's love language is time. So for him, spending time with him is his love language, so he doesn't like it as much, but he knows that that's important. And we don't leave him all the time, you know. We we go on and, and hang out with him and have time with him and spend time with him. But this is the primary relationship. Mom and dad are on the same team. We're on the same team in discipline. We're on the same team in how we raise them. And they know that they can't come between this. This does not break. And, and that's healthy for them to see that. Because then they can grow up and go, yeah. okay, this is the way I treat my wife. I can hug my wife and kiss her in front of the kids. They know that we have a loving relationship. And they know that this relationship is paramount. Because if this relationship is working, then our relationship with them is is a better quality. It's, yeah. it's higher. They're getting exactly what they need. And it's modeled through marriage. And again, I want to say, if you guys are having a deep conversation and everything, and the child comes in bleeding, don't say, uh-uh, that we're having a deep conversation. Obviously, there's common sense behind this. Attend to the child that's bleeding <laughs> or broken or whatever it is. But if a kid's like, mom, 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 and they get your attention before your spouse and it's really not that big a deal, that's where you've just now put the kid above your spouse. And we were talking uh, with some friends about how moms can do this because a lot of times moms seem to have a, a stronger bond. It's not always. I'm just saying overall they have a stronger bond with uh, kids with the children than a dad does. So how can the dad not come off like a jerk? Like we need to spend time with us. You spend too much time with the kids. And I think what the dad can do is offer uh, reliable babysitting. Like he can set it up, babe, we need a night away. It's great. And you know, let me set up some reliable babysitting with peers person you trust and let's go. Let's, you know, let's get out of town or whatever. And I think that's really important that it's not just you spend all the time with the kids. Well, yeah, because that's kind of what we do. We're nurturers. We're, you know, we kind of do that. Um, but I think it's important. It is a give important. and take with the husband is that you do have to come in and go, wow, all day long. She's cleaning up, throw up and poop and urine. And Whose house I, is that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, to come in and go, hey, you've had a rough day. Go, you know, I'm going to run a bath. Go run a, go, you know. Go in the bathroom and then I'll take care of the kids. If, if you as a husband step in and give your wife a break, you are more likely going to be on the same team yeah. and she's going to value you over the children. Again, I don't want her to value me less than the children, but the thing is that if she's all home all day long and that's all she's doing is raising these kids while you're off to work, you come home and give her a break just for that mental peace of mind yeah. and it puts you on the same page you don't even have to touch her or don't expect sex just here's a hot bath go take a rest i got the kids and i'll put them to bed mm -hmm. and your whole marital life will change just by coming home and knowing that you're going to serve your wife that puts you on the same page as her because she understands that you're there to give her a break yeah. rather than come home and sit on the barca lounger drinking a beer because you need time just to rest off of work. 
Come Which I know that they life. need that too. So I, it, right. it is. It's a service. It's a give and take. And there are different seasons in our life. If you have a newborn, that's demanding all of your attention. That I we get that. We've been there twice. You know, we haven't been into the huge teenage years. So pray for us because we don't know what's coming. We're we're trying our best. We're that's a year out, we man. A year and we out. we take advice from those that have been there. So trust us. Um, but yeah. So put your spouse in the number one position. You know, under under God, <laughs> and. Uh, and just see what that does to your marriage, and but still value love on your children and be a team. Yeah, work together okay. in raising your team rather than just having one parent take the brunt. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing. So speaking of teamwork, next week, April third. April third is seven days of sex. <laughs> wow. A few people will. Wow, get Monica. That. Okay, and um, <clears throat> so we're gonna do a quick video every single day. Uh, private message us or. A few yeah. people also already said they would do it, so yeah. we're really excited. Private it's message awesome. and text. Awesome. Text us that, you, that you're going to be involved in that. We're not going to call you out by name. No. It's not like we're going to say, hey, yep. <laughs> Bob. Bob isn't watching. Bob is with us. No, we're not, we're not doing that. So we'll have advice and tips <laughs> and tricks all week long. It'll be great. <laughs> Tricks. All right, I have no idea what he's got up his sleeve, so pay attention because it could be very interesting. All right, we love you. Or we horribly will talk wrong. to you next Monday. Yeah. All right, bye. Baby.